Let's take a look at Safaricom. Uh, strong activity on that stock yesterday. 600 million shares being traded there. It managed to close on a higher note at around 3.95 shillings. We've seen lots of strong uh, demand coming through from foreigners. Let's just take a look at uh, their deal that they've recently, or they intend to sign a deal with Telcom Kenya to uh, share the cost of infrastructure there, which could have a positive benefit and a positive spin-off for operating costs. What is your take on them uh, moving together with Telcom in order to uh, manage infrastructure costs? Well, uh, seeing that uh, they, they're there, in a, we, we have the big uh, telecom sector um, price wars. I believe costs are a major issue for all of them, and so Safaricom is moving in the right direction. I think um, that uh, foreigners are feeling that uh, right now is a time to get into the market, considering that uh, the shilling has probably bottomed out and will probably start to farm up against the dollar, and therefore they're finding it a, a, an opportune time to get in um, before, you know, it, because for them right now, stocks are actually the cheaper uh, on the market. You, we've seen that uh, shilling firm up quite considerably from its uh, all-time low of around 91.90. Now, just let's look at um, staying on the telecom sector and, and the data space, um, which is seen as the growth and the frontier market for telecoms operators, given the mo margins and the low margins we've seen in the voice space. Now, telecom saying that it plans to roll out 3G in July. What are your thoughts on who's winning in the data space at this stage? And could the introduction of telecom into the market have implications for the likes of Safaricom? Well, I think at the moment they have gotten uh, some breathing space after uh, you know the president ordered that there should be no uh, reduction in tariffs. So I think uh, for now they have uh, stepped back to consolidate their positions and I, I believe that um, Safaricom is actually meant to be rolling out their 4G uh, while the others are rolling out their 3G which means they're still a step ahead of the other um, operators. I believe right now it's an issue of service delivery. We, uh, our Kenyans have always been very patronizing and so Taking over market in Kenya can be a really difficult task, as we saw with the, the DRJO and um, SAB Miller, you know, war on Tasca and Castle Beer a few years ago. It is really not an easy task to get Kenyans to shift our legends. Uh, we still, um, so I don't expect there to be a major shift in the short term. I think, again, we have. Safaricom having locked in a lot of their clients with their money um, transfer system, uh, M-Pesa, which gives them also an upper hand at the moment. But I believe it's now up to the other players to show what they've got to be able to actually pull, um, you know, pull customers from them. Let's look at Mumia Sugar because that stock took quite a battering yesterday. There are concerns around production given the uh, inadequate rainfall that we've had in the country and also the rise in competition which could eat into its market share. Uh, sugar prices though have soared um, in the last week around 39% up. Uh, some of the uh, mills expecting to shut down for annual maintenance. What are your thoughts on this stock? Well Fundamentally, Mumias is one of the strongest stocks, and um, I've, I've always wondered why, but uh, I, th I think the reason that Mumias um, has been having issues on the stock market is that it has a very big chunk of the shareholding in the hands of the outgrowers. Um, there was uh, the issues a few years ago where uh, people, brokers or, or uh, scrupulous, unscrupulous brokers were going uh, down and buying the shares at very low rates from the farmers and coming and selling them on the market. I think that has stopped now, but still you find that this um, large amount of float, especially with the retail investor, means that the share Whenever we have a very low level of, uh, of, 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 of local investor activity on the market has a very heavy effect on 
mumias. Well, that said, we have the TADA project, which we think they're going to be rolling out, which will give mumias an upper hand in terms of knowing how much sugar they can actually produce because that's an irrigation project. Uh, but still, uh, they are still reliant on the outgrows, meaning that we can see a few fluctuations based on uh, supply. But they have been fundamentally very strong and very, very good at um, you know looking for new sources of energy and you know uh, being very um, good at finding new uh, new revenue streams. Let's look at broader market trends now because uh, the NSE is the worst performing bourse in Africa this year. In US dollar terms, it's down 21.9%. Uh, it's coming close to its all-time low of a 3,870 that it reached uh, this year. It's still below that uh, key 4,000 uh, level. What are your thoughts as we enter uh, the second half of the year? What are your thoughts for um, the markets? And do you think that we'd be able to reverse this bearish trend? We've seen what type of activity or catalyst uh, could reverse this bearish trend? Well, we, the, the, the British American IPO has been given the nod by the Capital Markets Authority. It should be rolling out in Ju July, I think the 12th of July, and that is going to excite the market. The Kenyan market, usually, the local investor usually tends to be an IPO-driven uh, investor. Uh, on the retail level and so we do expect that that will generate some uh, some interest in the market which Can we could expect to give us give the market some impetus what are your thoughts on Britac um, it's obviously hasn't been uh, listed on the boss uh, but it is a uh, quite a dominant player in the insurance market will you be looking to buy the stock when it uh, the IPO is offered at around nine uh, shillings a share yeah, at nine shillings per share, um, and they're not calling it Britag now, they're calling it British American. They, would like, they want uh, a different uh, face on it. Um, well, British American is quite a, 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 a um, I, I feel, especially being a financial stock, at nine shillings, they have a very good market share in terms of um, the areas where they specialize. Um, I think it would be a stock to buy, and I believe that investors would be looking to buy them. We've, we've usually seen financial stocks do very well once they get listed on our local market, and uh, I believe that investors will be actually raring to go on this one.